Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mr. Mustang149 coming from RR Custom Garage. Hey, man, how's it going? Uh, I know it's been a while since I did a video, it's probably around three months ago, and I was working on the Chevy Nomad. Um, I just started fixing up my little shop here, the extra room we have in our house where I do my stuff, and I started doing shelves and stuff like that. and Got it to RC's again, and uh, I started just doing that, and kind of, you know, working, and so I came back to it. Uh, I told you I was gonna paint it white and and uh, purple, which I did, but for some reason this paint would not work. It would run and just looked horrible. Painted it twice. First time I had to use purple pond, which is pretty cool. So I pawned it and I just, you know, primered it and uh, just left it alone. And um, somebody said this, you know, it kind of sucked this mold and it does uh, very rough edges, a lot of extra plastic everywhere. So when I try to shave, th like I just try to fill things up and I just ruined it more and shaved a bunch of like little stuff off. Like, symbols and door handles and try to cover this freaking gas tank so what I decided to do with this car instead of do super duper nice or anything go with that uh, that homeboy look you know the homeboy special uh, on the construction kind of thing so I'm gonna just finish it like it is um, it's a cool wagon so I went to Ken's and uh, ordered a bunch of stuff uh, the, uh, the, the fur some dice rims and uh, these uh, little Mexican blankets which I thought were scale but I didn't really look uh, they're huge and the size of the car so I'm gonna use those and uh, I don't know probably cut them up or something but I did it did the fur which I did today um, I painted it inside white and it came out all right but you still see like very weird uh, you know it's just I don't know maybe I got the wrong paint I'm not sure so I did that, it's not glued or anything, I just threw it in there, just mock up. So that was pretty cool, I really liked the fur. Um, kind of messed up some space where you can see a little darker than light. I went over because it didn't stick, so I would put more paint. Then I put my fur, so it just made it darker, so I'm like, well, I'm not going to do the whole thing, so I left it alone. Here's a little uh, chain stream, which is pretty cool. Little chrome pieces, not too bad. There's more chrome pieces for outside the car. So it's gonna be primer, a lot of chrome, cool interior, cool, you know, nice rims. And uh, on the construction kind of thing. Suspension wise, go with the switches. So I still gotta order some pumps in the tank. So I'll do that pretty quick. So I uh, raised it the most I could. And um, lowered it from the bottom. I did my own four link, and um, I did it came out pretty good. So that's that. Uh, what else? What else? Engine's still not done. I'll oh, put it good. Very few pieces in this car. Not a lot to do. Um, not a great kit, but. It's still a good looking um, truck. I want to start doing my Toyota. So hopefully I'll get to that pretty quickly. So sorry guys, it took so long to start this. But here it is. Hopefully you guys like it. So far, hopefully you guys like the direction I'm going. And that's it. So this is Mr. Mustang 149 coming from r, &R Customs. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Hopefully it'll be done. All right. Later, guys.